The GTA Definitive is garbage and most people know that already. Unfortunately, after 3 videos listing various different issues this version has, some are still not convinced. I'll keep making more videos until you guys get the memo. While the previous 3 videos focused on all kinds of issues like game breaking bugs, UI, audio, cutscene problems and more, in this 4th video I'll cover only terrain problems like incorrect textures, holes in the ground, places where you sink in for no reason and more. I hope you guys enjoy and please tell me again how I'm nitpicking about things which were completely fine in the original, but when they break in the newest release and I point them out, I am now the bad guy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, begin with problem number 304 and for the first 303 you can watch the first 3 videos, let's go! The first terrain issue is next to one of the paint sprays in San Fierro where CJ can be consumed by some grass. And by consumed I mean he could fully disappear if he crouches. In the original the grass here looks terrible comparatively to what's above, but at least it's solid and you can walk on the ground. After 3 videos CJ finally realized that this version of the game is garbage and he'll showcase it to us by merging with the garbage at Emmett's place. In the OG this garbage is not there in the exact spot. In DE they placed it, but it's only a texture, it doesn't actually exist. Right next to the big ear, which is the satellite dish, almost every single bush here is floating. This whole chunk of the mountain has incorrectly placed fauna. In the OG there is no bush in sight, this does look worse, however at least the terrain makes sense. They could have spent an extra hour placing these where they should be and not make it look stupid in DE. This turn jump important is very off, why? Well, because when you take it, you'll be driving in the air. Your car will not be touching the ground at all times. This is because the sun jump should be pointy like in the OG. The pointiness was made more smooth and now the jump is rounded out, but the model of it was left the same, making you walk in the air. It's expected of devs now to spend much time working on textures which the player would not even see often, but this... This is a stun jump, a stun jump you need to take so you can get 100% completion. I have no idea why even 10 more extra minutes were not spent making this look at least semi-normal. When closing in on the canals of Los Santos, you'll notice how the cracks on the ground are floating. What's more funny is that from below they don't even show up <laughs> so they're visible from above even though they shouldn't, but they're invisible from below even though you know the texture should be there since you can see it from above. And obviously there's no cracks here in the OG. In San Fierro where a big rock formation is, if you try stepping on the tallest rock, you'll notice how CJ is floating. Yeah, pretty weird and it's not only because of the jetpack. It looks even more dumb if he dismounts and crouches. So why is this so broken? Well because in the OG the rock is pointy. The peak was smoothened, but the model remained the same. They could have either cut a bit of the model or extended the texture upwards. Or you know, not let AI make your game. AI which makes some textures smooth when they shouldn't be. Next to the Los Santos airport on the off-road track, you notice how pedestrians will often just get stuck in the terrain because it's uneven. They have no idea what to do once they sink in. Well, this is because the model is supposed to be completely flat so pedestrians can just walk on it. While it is a nice change to make it uneven, at least update the NPC's AI to recognize it or just make it flat instead like it is in the OG. If you enter the bank of Vice City and enter the security room, you may notice something off. There's lots of furniture in this room, but is it actually here? Well, it doesn't seem like it because this filing cabinet should not actually exist. Tommy can just walk into it and become My one with the box. Boxy. We shall call him Boxy from now on. This item was not present in the original, so it's a new addition and one of the few new additions the devs added, being broken seems on brand. Lovely! In the desert you can find 5 red blocks. Upon closer inspection you notice how 2 of them are floating. The second one gets a pass since it's an insignificant amount of floatiness. But the first? Come on! This is just weird! In the OG none of them are floating and what's more interesting is that the bottom of them is textured differently where you can see more dirt build up 
since it's closer to the ground. It gets progressively cleaner the higher you go. It's amazing the amount of detail the devs can put in a game with such limited graphics. But it shows that a little bit of care is required for such things, something the Definitive Editions are completely devoid of. Right next to the leaning penis mountain you'll notice how almost every single bush, grass and pebble is floating. Around the whole shaft this issue persists. Well now check out the original, it's full of bushes and grass as well and while we do see some slight floatiness right here for instance, it's nothing like in Definitive where ghost grass has taken over the penis. In this parking lot in Adventurous you'll find many palm trees. All of them have issues where CJ can just walk into them. If you walk around you'll see how the tree model is not where it should be. This one and the second to last tree are the biggest problem makers where this one's model is not even touching the texture. It's a whole meter away. They completely missed the mark on them. Obviously the first and the second tree I showcased don't have this problem in OG. At the Shore Seville Hospital we can see some grass. What goes well with grass? Leaves and pebbles, right? Well sure, but only if it's contained on it and possibly on the ground. Well, problem is that these leaves and pebbles will pop through the wall and appear on the other side along the whole wall. You don't need me to tell you how ridiculous this looks, right? Oh, and obviously this was not a problem before, <laughs> despite the game having trash on the ground like newspapers, they'll not poke through the wall. Right where you meet Katie, your girlfriend, for the first time, as you jog around you may notice this floating pole. If gravity existed in San Andreas, this light pole definitely should not be floating and should tumble down immediately. In the OG gravity does exist because this pole is correctly placed and it looks normal. Very close to the place which provides power, I don't actually know what the name is, you can find three rocks. Each rock here is busted. You can hold on to nothing. You can sink into them. You float if you step foot on the rocks and so on. Do you know why this sucks so much though? It's because these rocks are completely new additions to the definitives. Again, one of the few new things added and they don't even make any sense. As you see the OG is barren of rocks. But the terrain is just fine here. No problems whatsoever. Remember the cracks in the ground I showcased in Los Santos? Well, they can occur here as well, but in Las Venturas they are even more broken. Some are not even placed flat on the ground, but sideways where they point upwards. Many are also floating like before. This happens all around this circle and it's not an isolated issue. The OG like I said before has no cracks, so this circle looks normal. In Vice City we have a dump. In this specific spot it looks like only tires are thrown out. Stepping into this pile of rubber you sink in every step you make. If you crouch you can even completely be covered in tires. I mean I get it if this is sand for instance or maybe tin cans. Cause when you step on a bunch of tin cans you sink in, sure. But these? These are tires dude. Switching over to the original you see that the garbage should be smooth. Instead of changing the model of it in the Definitive Edition, they just added a bunch of crap. They basically made the model a bit fuzzier. I mean sure it looks better but only from far away. In San Fierro next to the burger shot and paint spray, if you get close to these apartments entrances, you'll see how you sink into the ground pretty much anywhere. On top of that, some cracks even go through a garage. Now while your feet still face through the ground in the OG, it's nowhere near on the level of the Definitive. In the OG the tip of CJ's foot is sometimes in the ground, while in DE the whole leg is engulfed by the underground demons. In the rich part of Los Santos you find this massive bizarre black structure. Why is it here? What is its purpose? A tree pokes through, some stairs do as well. It's lengthy and pretty tall. What do you think it is? Well the original has your answer. This is just a regular transparent fence. A fence you see everywhere in the game, but for some reason this specific one was butchered in DE. And the stairs which were poking through, they are not supposed to poke through. The tree and the bush do, but I can excuse them as only the leaves poke through the holes of the fence. But the black quote unquote fence? Nah man, this is broken. <laughs> 
In front of the big Lazventurous arena, if you get close to this fence, Siju will sink into the ground. After a while, he pops out and he can get stuck again in the same spot. Sometimes getting out is difficult since Siju will spin around in place until the game decides to free him. In the same spot in the OG, no matter how many times you try getting him stuck, it will just not happen. Yes, another unique stun jump is improperly textured. Now I wouldn't expect this from even one. Since again, this is required for 100% and you need to come here and do the jump. But this is an issue with two of them, not one, two! Nobody on the dev team tested this for 100%. The original devs did since, as you can see, the ramp is fine. Right next to the gazer in the desert, you'll see a lot of floating crap right next to the mountain. Bushes, grass, pebbles and whatnot. They are so high that CJ can be fully underneath them if he crouches. There's no crap in the OG where the floaty crap is supposed to be, so nothing to see here. In San Fierro we can find a few normal trees close to each other. Among them we can find the ugly duckling of the group. The tree which refuses to follow standard San Andreas gravity laws and does whatever it wants. The same tree is just like its brothers and sisters in the OG. Completely normal tree. Next to the Adventurous Airport we can find this lengthy fence. You also notice that at random times the fence is just broken up. I counted 4 places where the fence just disappears. I don't know about you guys, but I think this fence serves absolutely no purpose when chunks of it are missing. This is how the fence should look like. Nice, long and fully functional, blocking any intruders from entering. In Little Haiti next to the billboard you'll find something blocking the NPCs and Tommy from passing through. What could it be? Well, this right here is a missing fence. A fence should be placed here and it is, <laughs> but you cannot see it since it's invisible. Here it is in the original. Here you don't have to walk against an invisible object. Close to the mod garage in San Fierro you can find many fences, one of which flickers constantly. This as far as I know is called Z fighting, but you can correct me on this if I'm wrong. In the OG, the fence is completely fine, but there's still a little flicker on this portion of the wall. It's an insignificant amount, but it's still here, so I feel like pointing it out too. Even with this, however, it's much worse in the definitive. In Vinewood you'll find this normal looking mansion. Approaching it though you'll see how you can sink in the ground. It looks like there should be a slope here leading to the mansion since right next to the house CJ does not sink. If you fall this way then you would be correct. Switching over to the OG you'll see how a slope does exist. In Los Santos this tree looks majestic, right? Well, not so much once you look at the bottom side of it which phases through this fence. Props to them for properly texturing the model, however, the texture fits correctly and you don't merge with the tree like we saw before. Well, this tree is skinnier in the OG and it fits right behind the fence. In Portland Harbor, where the line runner spawn location is, you can find this ship hooking places. I don't actually know how we call them, but these two things. Here you'll see floating leaves on one and a smudgy mess on the other. I don't even know what the smudge is supposed to be, but it's not leaves since looking from below, the texture disappears. But as you can see, the leaves are visible from below. This obviously was not an issue before in the OG, all the garbage is on the ground where it should be. At the Four Dragons Casino you have probably noticed this long neon light surrounding it, right? They look very fancy. Getting close to them will reveal the problem though, and that is these random bright lights in the center of each neon section. They are extremely bright and the light source comes from nowhere. It just poofs into existence when you get close. In the OG the neons are a different color, which of course doesn't matter but the light sources are the same luminosity. Oh and by the way, these lights should turn off at daytime, but they don't in the definitive. This would just make too much sense for this version now would it? The Alhambra disco in Los Santos is absolutely gorgeous. Smoke, light, music, people dancing, it's great. Unfortunately, the definitive devs decided to add a brand new item, which is the hose. This hose is placed on a wall, but only its texture is. The hose does not actually exist. It's only there to fill up the disco with more stuff. Switching over to the OG, you'll see how bland and boring Alhambra is. But there's no fake items, everything is authentic. 
you can find two tall chimneys in Los Santos. Getting up on top of them you see something odd. A very dumb decision to add a crack on top of the chimneys. This makes zero sense. First the chimneys should instead be open so the smoke can get out. Second this is the last place for a crack. Lastly from below the crack is not visible so you may never see it in your game unless you fly up there. They could have done a lot more with these chimneys since they're also closed in the original but no, they added a dumb needless crack which serves no purpose. Add some smoke for crying out loud, open it up, do something! At the off-road track in Vice City on one of the last corners of the track you find some floating leaves. At the only big dip on the track you can encounter them. I feel like like everything else in the game this track was not tested at all, huh? I think so. Props to them for only having this issue in one spot but it's still a problem. Why should it be here? The leaves in the original land on the actual ground and even move around. They are not static floating leaves. A big mystery in San Andreas is the existence of a cave right next to one of your desert safe houses. In the definitive edition this cave is haunted and you see that as you approach the entrance. You find a lot of ghost fauna in front of it. These ghost pebbles, grass and bushes belong to the previous Definitive Edition players unfortunate enough to play this trash. What's interesting is that in the original the cave is also haunted but in a different way since there's no ghost fauna. Entering the cave you hear a voice. Subscribe. Like the video. Yeah, very spooky, you better follow the instructions though, I don't wanna get the ghost angry. At the junkyard next to Mount Chiriot we can find this pile of definitive editions. Looking close at this garbage you notice this stretched out texture. This happens in some areas of the map and I covered some of them in the previous videos, but this here is the worst one of them all. Now I know what you're gonna say, but bad infos, the OG looks worse by default. Surely despite the problem the definitive edition looks better. Well firstly this doesn't apply to this example because the OG absolutely looks better in the junkyard. And secondly, the OG has consistent bad graphics throughout. When you see this crap in the definitive it grabs your attention because it's not consistent to the rest of the game. This looks way off. Right next to Michelle's place you find some stairs. On the ground you also find some weirdly angled leaves. They are not laying on the ground, but instead they're facing upwards. These leaves actually spawn at random because sometimes instead of them being below the stairs, they spawn on top of them. No leaves in the OG means no issue here. Right next to the Macadam sign in Shortside Vale, you find a few funky fences. I'll focus on these two, the first one, when you touch it just goes crazy. It will jump around as long as you're entertained and keep staring at it. The second fence down the road is not funky, but it's incorrectly placed. Half of it you can go through, the other half's collision box extends to the other side. You can even hop onto it, onto one big fat nothing. In the OG the first fence despite it not being funky, it is actually floaty so I'll give it this one and not count it as a problem in the definitive. But the second fence? That one is completely normal and it's also placed correctly, making the definitive fence problematic. In an alleyway in San Firo close to the valley parking hotel, if you get close to this building you'll see a gap between the ground and the wall, through it you can see pedestrians and cars zipping by. In the OG at the same location there's no such hole and everything is connected properly. Next to the canals in Los Santos you find not one, not two, but over 10 pieces of grass poking through this ledge. This fence does not seem to stop the grass infestation and it just floats around here without a care in the world. In the OG there is no grass so no such problem. On the main road in the countryside you find this little shack which has a lot of crap in it. Unfortunately none of this crap has a collision box. You simply go through every item in here. The shovel, hay bales, tire and even the water canister. This shack should be empty as we see in the OG. Oh and by the way I welcome the additions of the new items, it makes the place look more alive. But if you're gonna add something at least make it right and add a proper collision. This is all I ask, please. So I showcased this plank in one of the previous videos, that one doesn't actually exist and if you walk on it you fall in the water. Well upon further investigation it turns out that it was moved to this exact spot 
and the only way to know that is if you shoot at it and you see particles appear or of course yellowing <laughs> and trying to walk into nothing the fence on the ship you can even go through it's so weird in the OG of course you can walk on the actual plank you have seen floaty cracks before but have you seen floaty cracks which also go through fences I bet you have not, unless you have played the Definitive Edition for way too long. Because the more you play, the more stuff you find. Example for me, I have found 404 issues. Anyway, here's an example in Los Santos. It goes through a fence and it also floats. And lastly, from below, it is completely invisible, just like the rest of the cracks we saw before. In the OG, there's no cracks, so no problem here. Most billboards in Last Ventures are now broken. How so? Well, this box of the advertised product you see should not be a box. In definitive, you can blend in with it. CJ can get covered completely with the box. As you see in the OG, it's a thin sheet which gives you a lot more room to walk on the billboard and you also don't fully sink into it. Right next to the airport, we can find a very tall palm tree. Or can we? This tree is not actually here. Now you're gonna say, but bad infos, you showed us this tree already. Oh, did I? Well, could you try finding the collision box for it? Huh? Usually when this happens, the collision box of it is right next to the tree. Like we saw before in this video, but this one, the tree is not actually here. In the OG, the tree is equally as fat, but has a proper collision. Speaking of Definitive Edition, these garbage cans are weird. Why is that? Well, take an RPG to their face and you'll see. If you manage to turn it over, you'll notice how the garbage underneath it and around it is actually stuck to the garbage bin. They are not separate items and they cannot detach. What does detach? is the black bags, but not in a good way, because they float in the air like they just don't care and you cannot make them fall. In the OG there's no extra items around the bin, so when flipped over they look normal. Speaking of fat trees, we have another one in Los Santos which pokes through the fence. The tree is dangerously close to the residence as well, which is not good. As you guessed it, in the OG the tree is normal size and does not poke through the fence. This bush here does though, so points taken away from OG as well, but the problem we're looking at is the tree which should not be this fat. Hey, this location looks nice, a nice place to chill after passing a few bike driving tests. Once you get close to it though, you'll see that somebody placed fake garbage cans next to the benches. <gasps> what a monster! Now people have no place to drop off their garbage. In the OG, they do. Every bin has a collision box and they're even textured better since they're rusty and old looking. The E is way too formal with the bins, which don't even exist. I normally don't mention the parallax interiors in this series since it's all about the problems and I find the parallax interiors to be a nice addition, but I gotta mention this one. From afar, it looks fine and actually nice. Getting close though, oh boy, the hell happened here? Is this pizza place under construction? How is someone supposed to sit and eat here? Sure in the OG it doesn't look great, but at least it looks normal. Tommy can live up to his name Boxy in the Cherry Poppers Ice Cream Factory because in one of the corners this box is not solid and he can enter it. Only this box is broken like that and every other one is fine. In the OG there is no boxes in this corner of the room so no problem here. Next to the army base in the desert we have yet another mountain covered in floaty bushes, pebbles and grass. It doesn't look that bad though right? There's just a bit of floatiness. Well, once you get higher up the mountain, you'll see the bigger problem here. CJ can stand up underneath them, which means they're very high, very far away from the actual mountain. How can somebody make this and not double check is beyond me. They have many developers who could have looked into these issues. Ugh, needless to say, the OG does not have this problem and the mountain is still very fuzzy and good looking. This fence next to the LS airport looks normal, right? Completely normal, nothing to see here. Just in case, let's take a lick of it and test it out. Yep, seems ok- uh, oh. oh, oh my, oh my. <laughs> this fence is not what it's supposed to be, or it's not placed what it's supposed to be. Throughout the whole duration of this fence, where you see a curb, you get inside of it. They missed the mark here. 
In the OG the same fence is fine, nothing strange or weird. Floating, gravity disobeying trees spotted in Los Santos. What I actually find weird is not the floatiness. I'm quite used to this crap at this point. It's that despite them making the tree more fat, they actually texture it correctly. The collision box is proper. It still floats, sure, but at least there's a positive thing about it. In the OG the tree is thinner and it's also connected to the ground properly. In front of the tunnel entrance in Shorset Vale, on the grass, you notice some leaves which point upwards where they should be flat with the grass. In the OG there's no such leaves so no problem here. These stairs are broken but in a unique way. But that I mean that they are not broken every time you use them. Most of the time when you hug this wall, you see through it. You can't fall into the void but you can see the street or the other side of the city. And then it spits you out. It's not consistent but it does happen often. In the OG when trying to do the same thing, this wall will immediately spit you out. I tried this for 30 minutes and did not manage to get stuck so no problem here based on my testing. The neighbor of one of your last venture safe houses has many floating leaves surrounding his house. It's not very interesting but it's an issue I wanted to point out. In the OG there's no leaves so no problem here. Now here's a wall which is broken up into two. Looking into this hole you'll see traffic, pets, buildings, grass, the void and more inside. This goes all the way up. In the OG the same wall has a similar issue. There's still a hole but it's much much smaller. Yes this is still a problem so point taken from the OG but the issue is much bigger and the wall is even more broken in the definitive edition so it deserves a spot on this list. Most of the grass here is incorrectly placed. It's nice and fluffy, unfortunately on this corner a lot of it is just weird. Some of it is sticking up, the rest is floating. No fluffiness in the OG, but at least there's no problem here. The walkway in front of this greenhouse is broken because walking alongside it, CG will sink into the ground. Not very much, but enough to drop to his knees. The same walkway has no issues in the OG. Next to the train tracks in the desert we can find the trapped cactus inside of a rock. Further proof that all these rocks are placed at random. And of course like all rocks this one is incorrectly textured and CJ can float if he steps on it. There's no rocks in the OG so all cactuses are free. At the Chuckup factory storage garages you'll find this incorrectly placed guard rail. It's floating and placed sideways in the air. That's a big ham Chuckup <laughs> on their part. In the OG it's of course placed properly. In Shortset Vale it is quickly rolled, you notice this weird texture on the rocks. That's not the problem, the problem is this hole you can get stuck on if you try walking to these rocks. This is a hole which you cannot get out of. However you still may get lucky and the wall may pop you out. I once stayed like this for 5 minutes until Claude decided to spawn back up. At which point the Colombians shredded me because there were so many piled up. The OG does not have this weird texture and the hole is also not here. Hey, I found another floating crack going through a fence. This one is in San Fierro and of course is invisible from below. No cracks in the OG so no problem here. In the desert if you walk alongside this road you can completely be engulfed by the underground San Andreas demons. Seriously, CJ can fully submerge and he can see the void below and the street above. It's a massive hole you can fall into by simply driving or walking around. In the OG the hole simply does not exist. So there's no danger. Behind the pen spray garage in San Fierro you can find some floating leaves. You come here often so I feel like it should be looked at but it wasn't. No such problem in the OG. Right next to the pipe you'll find many floating leaves and even a crack. Their place is not here. In the OG we don't have this issue although this pipe is very weirdly textured. But as besides the point, there's a lot of floating garbage in the definitive. Behind the Four Dragons Casino about half the trees have some sort of issue where the collision boxes are incorrect. In the OG every single tree is fine. Speaking of trees close to Emmett's place along the road you'll find many trees which look really off. Some are taking space off the street and others are merging with the concrete they are standing on. Why is this? Well because they were made more fat for no reason. These trees should be skinny and this way they can fit where they should be. Now in the definitive since they're fat, they cannot fit. 
The Las Venturas Arena is split in half. Somebody call OSHA because this building is not safe at all. Through this gap you can see miles away if you stick your face next to it. In the OG by the way the hole is still here, but it's barely visible. I've certainly came here thousands of times in 20 years and never saw it. It's also only on the bottom, but in the definitive the whole building seems to be split. Yikes! Along the edge of this entire portion of the map, you'll find close to 100 floating items. I counted 67 leaves, but there's other stuff as well. For this ledge I can make a whole video on its own, but I chose not to. You're welcome. No floating leaves in the OG, so no problem here. Next to Dillimore we can find a massive tree. This time however a tree is not the issue. Part of the issue is these small pebbles on the ground. There are hundreds and I would guess maybe 70% of them are floating. But again, this is not the only issue. If you continue walking in this direction, passing all this floaty crap, you will stumble upon this slit in the mountain. This is not a hole that you can fall in, but it's here and it looks stupid. Speaking of looking bad, the Definitive Edition looks worse here than the OG. Look at all this stuff here, there's so much to look at. The Definitive crippled this area and on top of that made everything floaty. Terrible! The desert however is the biggest offender of floaty things. Right in front of the satellite dish you'll see a lot of it and this place also has two rocks. Rocks which, like all others, are badly textured. No such issues in the OG because of all the bushes and the lack of rocks. In San Fierro we can find three trees on a ledge. All of them should not be staying up because the roots are not even on the ground. This is because they were made fat once again. In the original every tree knows its place on the grass and not a single one will fall. Hey guys, where's Tommy? I could have sworn he was here. Oh, oh my goodness, hey, hello, <laughs> what's up Tommy? How you doing bro? Are you enjoying your hiding spot in this grass you're not supposed to sink in? I hope so because the other Tommy from the OG looks like he's not having as much fun as you because his grass is solid. Poor Boxy, oh sorry Tommy. I know how much you guys love it when I talk about trees, so here is another one without a collision box. I'm also gonna throw in this misplaced railing here close to it into the same problem, both the tree and the railing here were completely fine in the OG. Two pieces of grass are sticking out here in Los Santos. Small problem, but still a problem so I'm countering it. No grass in OG, so no issue here. Two floating cracks spotted in Las Venturas in front of the sumo building. No floating cracks in the same spot in the OG. In this lovely park we can find some floaty grass. Nothing special but it's here and I love this place and looking at this grass puts a bad taste in my mouth. No fuzzy grass in the OG so no problem here. We have a nice and lengthy but unfortunately broken fence at the beach in Los Santos. That's right, the whole fence is busted and you can just walk through. Not only this though, but once you jump over the fence, you may get stuck in the ground. Your only option being to continuously jump until you get free. This obviously is not an issue in the OG because the fence is solid. Welcome guys to Crack City, I found the mother load. Along this fence is where the cracks are produced and moved around the world to spread misery and despair. The original does not have this problem, thankfully. On the very top of Mount Chilet, if you approach this cliffside, you'll notice something funky with the terrain and CJ will just sink in the mountain and just walk in the air. CJ, aren't you scared? Holy crap, man, this cliffside is properly textured in the original. This parallax interior is hilarious. How the hell can all this stuff fit in this small space is beyond me. There's even a whole PC in there, dude. No parallax interior in the OG and this place looks better because of that. On the very bottom of Mount Chilet you can find some weird patches of grass. I wouldn't even call it grass, it just looks like a bunch of carpet laid out to dry. I counted at least 10 here. This does not look like grass. This however does because it's flush with the ground. On the side of this abandoned house in the countryside there's only one metal sheet, correct? Well no, there's two metal sheets. The second one is only visible from the inside not the outside. This metal sheet also has a collision box, so if you don't look at it from the inside, you will be wondering what is stopping you from walking here. This sheet is completely visible from all sides in the OG. 
When exiting out of the Van Cove Hotel, you may notice a thin line on your screen. Now what could it be? Let's get back in there and see. It is a new addition which is this hanger. The hanger is placed right in front of your camera as you exit. In the OG this hanger does not exist so the problem is not here. In the construction site in Stoughton Island we can see an issue we spotted in San Andreas before, so just repeat myself here. The OG has consistent bad graphics throughout the game, when the Definitive Edition does this however, it's very jarring and stands out way too much. Don't visit this area because it will make your eyes bleed. A massive chunk of the Las Venturas airport has ground issues. Pay close attention to CJ's feet. He is inside the ground up to his ankles. This goes on for a long time. In the original if you look at his feet, he's actually walking properly. How weird. Power lines in the Definitive are massive. They don't need to be this big. This is a problem mostly in the countryside and this is how thick the power lines cables should be. These trash cans in Palomino Creek might look real, but they're actually not since CJ can just stand inside of them. While this does look funny, it shouldn't happen. What should happen is there should be a proper collision box like in this example. At this beach wannabe you may notice a very straight line separating the sand from the grass. It's very out of place and should be smoothened out a bit. In the OG there's no such line. In Angel Pine you can find this garbage can where people keep the definitive editions. Unfortunately it's not solid and CJ can go through it. This bin does not exist. It only exists in the original because CJ can actually climb on top of it. There are a few enormous trees here in Los Santos. Unfortunately not a single one is solid. That's right, you can just fly through the branches like there's nothing here. This is not the case in the OG because the trees are solid. At a pretty important place where you can take a racing mission, you can spot two big problems. One is the many floating grass squares which look terrible, all laid out on the mountain like that. And of course a massive tree, the biggest tree yet in this video, which has a collision box not where it should be. CJ can be fully inside the texture. Both these things of course are not a problem in the OG. In Port and Harbor next to the Line Runner spawn location, you'll see how this fence is broken up into parts. It's supposed to keep the cars away from entering but clearly would not. The original fence is full and would actually serve its purpose. The entire fence in this tunnel is not actually here. It only looks like it exists but no, on both sides, no fence. The fence is here in the OG and while it's a bit glitchy, it actually exists. Next to the lake in Palomino Creek the grass is way too high for my taste. Next to the mountain CJ can stand up underneath it. He doesn't even need to crouch. This is not a problem in the OG. At the pirate ship where the hovercraft spawns the ground is lifted up a bit. This makes the hovercraft look goofy and also if you crouch in the sand it makes CJ look goofy. No goofiness in the OG however. In the dirt track of Vice City every single light pole you see is completely fake. You can just go through them and you're not supposed to be there. How do I know that? Well, because they are not here in the OG. Only one remains. In this beautiful area next to San Fierro we can find two giant trees. Both of them are busted since you can go through them. It seems like this is an epidemic around the whole map. In the original this area looks much worse but at least the trees are solid. I found a hiding spot for CJ at Mount Chiliad. If you follow the Chiliad race track and go off course a bit, you can hide over here in the rocks from all the people in the comment section who would crap on you for doing the devs job with finding all these issues. Oh only me? Ok I'll hide here. Well in the OG you cannot hide anywhere. We have a fake fence where the Desert Eagle is located. You can just face through. Not only this though but the billboard legs are not where they should be. As you can see the collision box is slightly off. Both these issues are not present in the original. Illuminati just got confirmed in the Definitive Edition. There's a random ass triangle on this mountain site. Apart from this by the way the grass on this site just looks weird. There's a straight line separating the fuzzy grass from the normal grass. All of this is not present in the OG. And lastly I want to avert your attention to the stairs found very close to Michelle's garage in San Fierro. If you walk underneath them, they'll simply disappear. 
it's like no stairs ever existed. Upon closer inspection though, you notice that at a certain angle the stairs become visible again. And of course, as you guessed it, it does not happen in the OG, they're just regular old stairs. This was our 404 error, I can find many more, but I feel like I showcased almost everything wrong with the game and I'm starting to repeat myself with the type of problems I show, so guys let me know if you want more of these videos or not. Or maybe I should move on to something positive like showcasing the positive things the Definity has brought to the table. Let me know in the comments, leave a like if you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to Olavili, Karen, Case Nice, Dominic Han, Faith, Sean Pasca, Monish Purip, Epic Elev, Shin Tei, Bad Boy Hero, Sessi, Extreme Stuff, Jebediah, Versetti Gwen, Jim Francescos and everybody else.